let me find out all these fragrances are pink i didn't even realize that except for one um and who knows what the juice on the inside of that looks like right i mean and i also i actually have five fragrances i thought that i had four i mean potato potato tomato tomato <laughs> Socialites, it is your girl Nay, the Untamed Socialite. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. On today's video, I will be doing a spring fragrance blind buy haul. I purchased four fragrances that I've never smelled before and was like, let's just give this a try, either from Instagram suggestions or YouTube suggestions or just thinking that the bottle was really, really pretty and would look great with the rest of my collection. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Um, but first, before we get down to the haul, I do videos about pretty much anything I like, beauty, fashion, lifestyle. I talk about my VSG journey and I'll be adding some mental health content soon. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell so you get a ding every time I upload a video, like and comment on this video. And um, yeah, I mean, enough of the formalities. Let's just get down to this haul. So first up, we have the Floor Musk for Her by Narcisco Rodriguez. Um, this is the EDP. Again, I've never smelled any of these. So I actually love the original of this. The, the original is just Narcisco Rodriguez for her. Um, I actually have a haul coming up that that one will be featured in. But first of all, let's get into this beautiful, gorgeous, okay, bottle. You already know, if you've been here, pink is my favorite color. I don't even need to get into that with you all. But this bottle is so chic, it's so beautiful. And let's see, let's smell her. Ooh. I do get the notes of the first one, like the original one, a little bit more fruity. And so let me just tell you what the notes are. The notes are, this is a floor woody musk fragrance. The notes are, it's a pink florals with hints of rose, peach, pulp, soft amber, and wood. I don't, let me smell it on my skin. I don't smell peach. I can smell the floral and the musk. So let's see, the top note is pink pepper and bergamot. The middle notes are rose and musk, and that's what I smell most. And then the base notes are woodsy, patchouli, and amber. Now, again, I do not know the longe about the longevity of this, but what I will say is that the original has great longevity, and I mean, I really don't see why this would be any different as far as longevity is concerned. I do kind of sense, smell the peach in there now. It kind of has like that Tom Ford uh, bitter peach kind of scent mixed with a bit of musk. Um, I do not think that this is a safe blind buy. If you do like the original Narcisco Rodriguez for her um, at a perfume, then you'll definitely like this. It's just a bit more fruity and a bit more it's more rose in it it's it's rose like you can smell the rose and the musk so it's like the first narcisco for her mixed with like rose because that's what i smell but it smells good it's definitely a spring scent and get it get it get it get it i'm gonna leave a link down below i actually got this on sale at nordstrom's rack so yes Let's get down to our next set. So this is the Dolce & Gabbana Le Imperatrice. Le Imperatrice. Um, I don't know that I got the correct one because apparently there's one that says 
three Lay Imperatrices that, um, what is her name? There is a YouTuber I watch, A A I Great, I think. I'll leave her link down below. Um, but uh, she always talks about this. Like she did a whole like watermelon smell haul. So I said, oh, let me get this. So the juice inside of this bottle is pink, of course, pink. I'm going down to the pink. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is a fruity floral. You know, they say to spray it on your skin so you can smell what it smells like. Ooh. This is sweet and juicy. Like, my mouth just watered a little bit. Wait a minute now. Like, dead serious, my mouth just watered. The spray is good. Like, the spray out. This gives me kind of like sweet hmm this shocked me actually <laughs> um the top notes in this are kiwi red currant and rhubarb the middle notes are damask rose pink peony magnolia and cyclamen and the base notes are sandalwood musk and smoke and honestly i can smell the pink peony and the rhubarb the most and I love like a peony scent. This is a great, like, I don't know. This fragrance can take you from day to night. Like you can wear this during the day at brunch or during the day, like running errands. And then you can also wear this. I would take this into the night on a date night because this is like a whiff of this. And it's like, I told you it made my mouth water. So, I mean, just imagine, okay? Um, This is a very juicy, juicy scent. Mm, it's very juicy. I don't smell the smoke yet. I do not smell the sandalwood. I don't smell the musk. I smell the pink peonies in the rhubarb now it's drying down it's a bit sweeter actually as it dries at first spray i said oh this reminds me of delina um perfume de marley delina now i don't have delina exclusive but i have delina and this rhubarb note and it reminded me of that but now that it's drying it's sweeter I can kind of smell some of the musk, but it's not like a musk like the Narcisco Rodriguez um, floor musk. It's not a deep musk. It's still very sweet. It's I don't even smell the smoke. I just smell the, again, the pink peonies and the rhubarb are taking over this. Um, I also like the way that it sprayed out. And on the last one, I didn't even mention that. Like the spray, like the way it sprayed out was good. I'm actually going to like have to wear this to say how long it's going to, um, you know, like project or wear. Now, I can still smell that like the Narcisco is kind of like taking over a bit. But I know that that's a stronger scent. Um, but yeah, she's cute. She is definitely cute. Le Imperatrice Dolce and Gabbana. She's she's cute. She's really cute. Hmm. This bottle is super cute. I love buying like these like one ounce, 1.7 ounce bottles. I just feel like I use them better. I can travel with them um what else about them like i just don't ever use a full like 3.4 ounce bottle of perfume i just don't especially not good perfume but anyway um this is from the house of victor and rolf i mean this they are the house that makes the famous flower bomb classic scent every woman should have that scent in their collection Every woman should have that scent. Um, this is the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. It is a floral, fruity, gourmand scent. Um, I'm excited about this. I love 
the flower bomb nectar i love the classic flower bomb oh she smells so good i loved um the midnight one it didn't have much staying power. I love the scent, but it did not stay very long. And then I'm really intrigued about Dew, whether I should get the Dew. But yeah, I love the fragrances from the house of Victor and Rolf. This one should be no different and she's not going to be any different. The notes in here are, the top notes are peach and vine. The middle note is orchid and the base note is vanilla bean. This smells like flower bomb without the musk. So if you remove the musk from the from the original flower bomb and it just smells sweeter and it wafts. This wafts on your skin. Well, I would say it's wafing on the card. So I'm sure it's going to wafe on your skin. But... Mm. This is a grown up sweet scent. This is another scent that I would take from day to night. This scent could be a signature scent. It's just, it's just, it's just that girl. Like, I expect nothing else from Victor and Rolf. Nothing. I expect nothing. I expect nothing but the best from them. Honestly and truly. And this did not disappoint. I mean... She smells good. I mean, she is another sweet scent that, again, is making my mouth water. This is, she's, like, robust. She's, you're going to walk in a room and they're going to say, who's that? Oh, I mean, I know it smells like flower bomb, but it's something a bit different. It's something a bit sweeter than the normal flower bomb. Like, what, like, what, what flanker do you have on? And you're going to say... I have on Ruby Orchid. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> She's good. She is good. Hmm. Definitely, definitely get her. Like, get her. Get her. She is Miss Thing. She is going to have you <sighs> turning all the heads this spring. I mean, it's just the sweetness of it. This, if you are a sweet girl, there is no, there is not a musk in sight. Get her. So next up, we have Mont Blanc signature scent for women. She's a white bottle. She's not pink like all the rest. I learned about this scent from Pockets and Bows here on Instagram, and she absolutely raved about this scent. Apparently, this scent is hard to find. Um, I will leave a link down below where I found her. And, I mean, this bottle, I mean, get into it. It's just gorgeous. Like, it's so simplistic but so beautiful. I mean, it just, she screams like minimalist luxury. Like, it is, it's the cutest little bottle ever. Um, This is an amber floral fragrance. I really love like amber fragrances i love amber fragrances i love musk fragrances i love sweet fragrances i love ooh fragrances okay so yeah <laughs> that doesn't help but no i truly truly love like a fragrances that have sandalwood that have amber that have musk i like that kind of dry down like that hint of like masculinity mixed with femininity so let's see what this is all about now uh, Pockets and Bows was suggesting that this could be a signature scent. Um, oh, she smells pretty. This is definitely a daytime scent. I would not wear her at night. This is definitely like a run errands, go to brunch, lunch, um, but nothing past five o'clock. I'm not wearing her after five. Um, the notes in this are, uh, the top note is Clementine. The middle notes are ylang ylang, magnolia, and peony. I love peonies. And the base notes is vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. Um, I like, you know, the way it comes out, like the way it sprays. 
I can definitely see this being a signature scent. It's not, it's already to me, it's not a very like bold scent, like a going to take, fill up the room kind of scent, like a robust scent, but it is definitely a scent that when someone smells you, they're going to say, because it smells like there's some coconut in here, but it's not. But when someone smells you, they're going to say, oh, you smell really good. You know, like it's a very clean scent. I mean, look at the bottle, like the bottle screams clean scent. Like it is very clean, like very, very clean. It's very grown. Um definitely something i mean it smells a bit creamy too like it has like a creamy dry down this again is definitely a daytime scent i i may make this my signature scent for spring i mean it does smell really delicious um mont blanc signature for women It's very creamy. I will say that it's a very creamy scent. Smells good. Whew, a bit intoxicating. So <laughs> this last scent is this bottle is so cute. First of all, let's just let's just get into this bottle. Um, my husband actually put me on to the uh, Thierry Mugler scents years ago. I have Alien, it stays in my collection. I love Alien and then I've gone on to get the new goddess scent. And we were walking through the mall and somebody was like, you know, they someone was trying to sell me another scent and then someone kind of like came to help and they were the nicer of the two people. And I was like, I wasn't in the mood to smell anything. I just was like, let me just get it. And it's a beautiful bottle. If I don't like it, it'll look nice with the rest of my fragrances. So this is the Mugler Angel Nova. It is a amber floral fragrance. I love me an amber floral fragrance. Like I love me an amber fragrance. And the top notes are raspberry and lychee. I love lychee. The middle note is damask rose. And then the base note is, I'm going to butcher this name, akigala wood and benzoine. Hmm. This kind of smells like the... Ruby Red, the Victor Ross, uh, Ruby or Victor, Victor Ross, Victor and Roth Ruby Orchid. This smells like that. Oh, does it have grapefruit in it? This smells like it has like grapefruit, like this, like a citrusy scent to it. It smells nothing like, I mean, I've smelled alien i've smelled angel like the regular angel i smelled the goddess scent this is something completely different it's it's in a completely different nose category like it's it's completely different she's pretty though my husband definitely is going to like this he likes these kinds of scents it's just like a I can just smell grapefruit and I just smell the the orchid ruby again it's it's like it's not a musk I don't smell the musk in this at all but nonetheless it smells good it's actually drying down to like this raspberry tarty kind of fragrance I don't know that I would wear this at night. I don't know. I may wear this to Target. I may wear this out to lunch. I may wear this like in the house um, as like, you know, when you, you get, you know, when you take a, you know, you take a shower, you put on your little cute little, you know, skims or your fancy homebody or whatever your loungewear is. I would wear this 
during that time just to smell good, just to leave like a scent trail. I don't know that I would wear this at nighttime. Actually, I do know I would not wear this at nighttime. I definitely will wear this in the daytime. Like I said, Target lunch around my house. Um, yeah, that, I mean, this, I mean, this scent, it's cute, but it doesn't, it's nothing that makes me like, it's a beautiful scent, but it's nothing that makes me want to like go buy another bottle or I'm telling you all about it because it's part of a haul, but it's really nothing to like write home about if that makes sense you know like it smells good um it's a you know a, a raspberry tarty scent um you will smell great with it like I said I'm gonna wear it in my house when I'm lounging around in my skims when I'm Netflixing and chilling that's that <laughs> the Angel Nova um fragrance by Mugler and it is a refillable bottle okay so that brings us to the end of this haul I hope that you enjoyed this video I will be doing many more of these fragrance hauls because Instagram and YouTube has a way of making me buy things that I'm just intrigued to buy. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, press the notification bell so you get a ding every time I upload a video. Um, follow me on the socials, The Untamed Social Light. Go past my website, theuntamedsociallight.com. And thank you so much for watching this video. You could be watching anyone else and you're watching me. And for that, I'm super, super, super grateful. Um, and yeah, until next time, smooches. Bye.